to edit the irrigation system, go to blocks, list, and this list will appear. Then go down the drop icon to the specific block that you want to work with. Click on the drop and the irrigation system screen comes up. If the site you're working with is in a pivot, you will be concerned with just the stop section of the screen. You will select the pivot that your site is in and then you want to identify the angle to the center of the pivot where north is zero angle. So you would go around in 360 and identify the angle at which it is. Now let's look at the, the situation where the site happens to be a drip setup. I already have that here. This is the, the emitter in gallons per hour. The spacing of the emitters in the line and the distance between the rows. The surface cover, and that would be the zone in the roof zone, in other words, underground, not what you see on surface but underground. That would be what it is daytime efficiency, nighttime efficiency. Now, note that we have three possible irrigation systems there is a primary system, a secondary system, and also a third. So you could have drip for fertigation and irrigation, you could have a micro for frost control for instance, and you could have overrated impacts for cooling. Then we have these numbers here, and these would be typical irrigation sets. If you say, if I run a small set, that'll be two hours. Typically a medium set, four hours, and if I run a really long set, it's going to be eight hours. And we'll put these numbers in here. And those could be used to do an irrigation interpolation later. If you have made any changes to the screen that will affect the, the calculation, you would need to do a recalculation. And whenever you make a change, remember to save. Now let's assume for the moment we have to recalculate. Tick the button, click the save button, and it's going to take us to the next screen. Now select the number of days you want to go back to to calculate. Select the date here, and it will re recalculate starting at that date. Uh, be careful when you use this button, it will recalculate all the data you have. So if you have four years of data there, it will take a long time. And having selected your dates here, click the Select button. 